The coming weeks will be the hardest yet. A stark warning from German Chancellor Angela Merkel as the country passed the 40,000 mark in the number of deaths since the start of the pandemic. The virus is accelerating across Europe, and although Germany fared better than most nations during the first wave, it's now being hit hard by the second. It's the beginning of the year with mixed feelings. There's hope we associate with this new year, the justified hope that step by step we will get the coronavirus under control and get our freedom back. And there's the dangerous second wave of the pandemic that our country is in, like so many European countries. These next weeks of winter will probably be the most difficult phase of the pandemic. Sweden, which has resisted lockdown measures, relying mostly on the public following official health recommendations, is also battling a second wave. It has now enacted an emergency law allowing the government to limit the number of people in shops, businesses and public places and is able to fine transgressors. In France, 25 departments are either under a 6pm to 6am nightly curfew or soon will be, as nearly 16,000 new infections were confirmed. There's also a rush to shut down clusters of the new highly transmissible Covid variant originally identified in the UK. There have been seven more cases in Marseille. It occurred during a family celebration. A person came from England to join family here and that's how they got infected. But COVID restrictions are being resisted by some. In the Czech Republic, thousands gathered in Prague's historic Old Town Square to protest. They restrict in contacts between people, social bonds between people. They try to take our lives away from us and dictate what we can and cannot do. We can't allow that. But Czech hospitals are currently packed with COVID-19 patients, where staff are struggling with one of the highest infection rates in Europe. Evelyn Laverick, Euronews.